G'day, Stu from Every Futures here, and today we're going to be talking about FPV and specifically how to drastically improve your FPV footage. So we're going to be going through the importance of a ground station and how that uh, can really clear up your signal and provide such a better, better FPV experience for your pilots out there or anyone who's watching. All right, uh, let's get cracking. All right, so first things first, let's quickly talk about how most of us are probably experiencing FPV. So we've got our goggles or set up something like that, and I've got my fat sharks, and we're just gonna be attaching an antenna on here. Some have diversity and things like that, like the sky zones, but uh, this is how most of us will be getting our FPV feed. So from our transmitter, it's gonna be sending to our antenna, going down in here, and our little receiver is just inside here on the, uh, this the attitude v2s anyway so it goes into the internal receiver and then goes straight to our eyes so pretty simple and a light setup but uh it is not the best quality if you're after a great fpv feed all right so let's look at how we can actually improve our fpv footage so first things first you're going to need a dedicated receiver you're going to need some antennas and then you're going to need some way of mounting it so like a big pole or a tripod or something like that all right, first things first, let's compare this dedicated receiver to this internal receiver. A dedicated receiver is probably going to have a much better tolerance in terms of picking up uh, your FPV signal. And just look at the thing, it's a lot bigger, so there's obviously a lot more crammed in there. It's doing a lot more work than whatever this little thing is in just here. Oh, don't get me wrong, this is still good, but uh, this is for a much improved FPV feed. Now a great thing about having a dedicated receiver is you can mount this away from your head. So even if we were just using one antenna here, uh, you can put this on a long pole or something like that, mount this up in the air and you're gonna get a lot better footage because uh, the 5.8 gigahertz sort of frequency just here it doesn't go very well through water and there's a lot of water in your head so sometimes you might find if you're flying around and you go behind you or something like that behind your skull your footage might get a bit fuzzy with a ground station you can put that away from your body so one or two meters away and that's going to make a world of difference it also here you can get some receivers that run on diversity some even have four-way diversity and what that means is you can mount a range of different antennas on here that are all suited for different things so uh, I love this little uh, this little receiver here, the FR632, and I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's super cheap, super good value. Anyway, uh, you can actually mount something like a helical and a clover leaf. And what's that? What that is going to do? You're going to have a strong focus beam, maybe in the direction that you're flying most of the time, or some place you need some good penetration. And then you've got your standard clover leaf for your sort of normal buzzing around. All right, another great thing about having a dedicated receiver is you have a lot more control over what happens to your FPV feed. So these goggles do have a video out option, but a lot don't. So it can be a little bit difficult for things like capturing your DVR footage or something like that. If you're gonna use a uh, dedicated receiver, you're gonna have that option. So you have control over what happens uh, to your FPV feed. You can run it to your goggles, you can run some to a computer, uh, some to a DVR, so you've got a lot more options in there. All right, it's all good me waffling on about it, but you're probably thinking, Stu, show us the results. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I went out and I tested these things. So I've got some footage just from my fat sharks just here with the internal receiver that I've captured. And then I use the same antenna on this dedicated uh external receiver just here or uh, your dedicated receiver you know what to keep it fair i didn't even use diversity so you can see the difference that it's going to make even if you just get a non-diversity receiver and using the same antennas all right let's get to it now it's worth noting this isn't the most rigorous or scientific test it's just to give you a general rough idea both the internal receiver and also the ground station still get the occasional flickers but uh, it's when they go around some really thick bushes and stuff that they really start to drop out. You can see that the internal receiver is almost unflyable just there, but the ground station you still have a bit of vision even though it's very snowy. This was an awesome little park to test this on because uh, there were heaps of bushes and it was fairly wet as well. So uh, there was a lot of work having to be done by both receivers. Now this comparison is with the same antenna on both the internal and also the ground station. I could have made it even better and I could have also added a helical in the diversity setup if I wanted to. You'll find as well, if you go to some of the races or you watch some of the big race videos, everybody there is gonna be using a ground station. So that's it for this ground station video. Uh, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. Bzzz.